Uh, here's a quick video on the clone function in FreeCAD. So if you take a look at this is my original sketch. We'll close down. So if you got to basically have a lot of parts that change, you make a modification in one part and you want to trans translate that change into all the subsequent parts. So I did a sketch here. This is my original uh, drawing here. Take a look at part design. So I'll, I'll modify this. I'll poke some holes into this thing. I'm going to poke some more holes. So this is my source sketch. So I've got this part. If you notice, all the different parts which are clones have been changed. So you see that square hole that I added. Now, what you also see is that this new feature that I added was not translated into the new, into the other parts. So basically, what happens is all the parts. Um, let's see if we can figure this out. All the features that were already done beforehand, they get propagated down. I, I'm wondering why this feature did not propagate. So let's see if we can make it propagate. So I'm going to take this one now and clone it. Okay, so here we've got second bracket, let's say. Okay, so we cloned that. Let's move it out of the way so we can see it more clearly. Okay, so we moved it in this direction. So you see this propagated. Now, if I change the source here, will this side also change? And I hope so, and that's my goal. So I'm gonna modify, let's do this one. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what happens. So what you see is that the ones that I cloned off this, which is this one here, those do change. But the former ones, which I have already cloned before, do not change. So what's the rule there? I think how to formalize it. When you make the original sketch and clone it, all the features will be propagated, and you know that things will propagate as long as you have done the clone operation after you drew that feature. Something to that effect. But anyway, play with this to see how, if you say you had to, this, this was our original file, just to give you an example, what, what this came out of, so we've got <clears throat> say the photovoltaics on top of the CD home and we found that oh, okay for the PV system we had to change our mounting brackets which are found in all these brackets here well say we wanted to do a different hull pattern or change the length you want the change to be made in the original and then it would propagate everywhere else so that's a use case of this kind of a process here. You you change the original feature and ideally everything changes downstream. But it looks like you have to put in some features to begin with, like for example, say four holes, because otherwise they won't get propagated. Let's see what happens in another, another way, like an important thing would be to tr cut it down in size, for example. Okay, so I'm going to cut that down, trim it down. Okay, I cut it down. Now, which ones got propagated? None of them. See, so the the ones, the ones that are already, even though this is the source, uh, the ones downstream did not propagate. But now I bet you, if I copy this, clone this, then that change, of course, will propagate. Yeah, I mean, of course. And then, let's see if, for example, I change this one, <clears throat> add another feature, will it change in this one? I expect it to do so. It's 
So if I change this one, so I'm going to put a feature on this side. Save for this little hexagon. Well, in this case, it didn't even propagate to this next one. So I don't really understand that. It must be a little bit of a bug. This is FreeCAD 16, so we might be working with some bugs. But in general, if you, we do know that if we do clone this one, of course, those features will, will show up. Yeah, I mean, we do have the hole right now. So sometimes you have to be careful how you do this now this so this clone comes off of this one so what i'm observing is that if you operate on a particular side and it already has some kind of a feature then that then that side will change in a subsequent one so let's try that let's test that one out so let's put another hole in here Nope, it doesn't. So here's what, here's the conclusion. We can change the sketches within this original, but you have to work on not adding new features, but changing existing features. So I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to modify the sketch. So you see that one. So I'm going to add, for example, another okay so I modified it like this and then erase these ones here okay so I'm working with this one uh, I'm gonna clone it Okay, so what I'm claiming is that if I modify this one, this sketch here, so for example, say move these, well add, oh, let's just move these, move these around a little bit. So they do get changed in the subsequent one. So you do have to edit the underlying sketches in order for the changes to propagate. Now, what about some of the features from this side? No, those were done in a different one. Yeah, those are in a different one. But I bet you if I move them around, they could still probably change. Yes, they do. Even though it's on a feature and the thing I already erased. Yeah. So the idea here is if you want to modify all sub subsequent clones of a sp specific part, you want to go to edit the underlying sketches and that will propagate to all the copies. So that's, I think, the conclusion.